Hi, so for today, we are going to talk about auxiliary equation with imaginary roots. Okay, so this is a part of differential equation. So last time we have discussed uh, real roots, real repeated roots. But now we will be discussing, okay, how are we going to solve the differential equation, higher differential equation with through the auxiliary equation with imaginary roots. Okay, so... Uh, the roots of the auxiliary equation, if the roots of the auxiliary equation are imaginary, non-repeated, let's say we have A plus BI and A minus BI, part of the solution is we will be uh, writing the solution of that higher order differential equation in terms of Y equals E raised to A, where A is this the value of the real part, okay? E raised to A multiplied by X, quantity C sub 1 cosine of B, which is the coefficient of the imaginary part, cosine BX plus C sub 2 sine BX. So basically, we will still be recalling our knowledge about on how to get the roots okay, of this uh, higher order differential equation. So for number one, let us try. Okay, So we should memorize this. Okay, E raised to AX quantity C sub 1 cosine BX plus C sub 2 sine of BX. Okay, so for number 1, solve the this given differential equation, higher order differential equation, we have quantity D squared minus 6D plus 13 and quantity D squared minus 2D plus 5 multiplied by Y equals 0. So we know that we will be getting first the root of this and the two roots of this. So all in all, okay, we have our four roots. Okay, so we have two roots here, two roots here. And we are expecting that the roots of this should be equal to what? Should be equal to a value that is an imaginary okay, number okay, or imaginary root. Okay? So let's try. So first, we convert this into auxiliary equation. So I have m squared minus 6m plus 13. And then we have m squared minus 2m, okay, uh, plus 5 equals 0, okay? So we first get the roots of this first term, okay? So we can get that using our quadratic formula, okay? We have b squared minus 4ac here all over 2a. So we'll be using that. So again, we have m squared minus 6m plus 13. This would be our A, coefficient is 1. This would be our B, negative 6, and this would be our C, and that is equal to 0. So we're going to find the value or the roots. So we have negative of the negative 6, positive or minus, we have square root of negative 6 squared minus 4 multiplied by 1. The coefficient of A is 1. Okay, or a value of A here in our equation is 1. And then multiply by C, which is 13. Okay? So all over, we have 2 times the A. So 2 times 1. So we have, we have here positive 6 minus and then negative positive 6 plus or minus. We have 36 minus 4 times 13. All over, we have 2. Okay? So, we have 6 plus or minus square root of, this would be negative 16. Okay? Upon simplifying, all over 2. So, again, we have two roots here. So, pass positive and minus. So, we have 6 plus square root of negative 16 all over 2. And then we have 6 minus square root of negative 16 all over 2. Okay? So, for negative 16, we can have 6 plus, okay, 16 times the negative 1 all over 2. And same as this 1. So, we have 16 times negative 1 all over 2. So, what will happen here is that we have now, okay, 6 all over 2, we can separate them. So, square root of 16 would be 4. And we know that the square root of negative 1 would be i. Okay? All over 2 also because we have a 2 here. So, 
And then for the second one, we have 6 all over 2 plus or minus, I mean, because we have a minus here. So this would be minus 4i all over 2. So upon simplifying, so 6 over 2 is 3. Okay, 4 over 2 would be 2i. And then we have the same 3 minus 2i here. So the first two roots are 3 plus 2i and 3 minus 2i. So we're going to solve with the same process, okay, with this one, m squared. m squared minus 2m plus 5 equals 0, We're in the value of a here is 1, value of b is negative 2, and the value of c is 5. So if we follow again, okay, Using the quadratic formula, okay, we are going to solve that negative of negative 2, positive minus, plus or minus b squared, which is negative 2 minus 4 times a times 5 all over 2 times 1, okay, with the quadratic formula, okay. So we have 2 plus or minus square root of, this is 4 minus 20, okay. So, this is still negative 4 minus 4 times 5. So, this would be 4. 4 minus 20 is negative 16 all over 2. So, if we separate that, we have 2 all over 2 plus, okay? So, we have 4i, okay, all over 2. And then, we have 2 all over 2 minus 4i all over 2. So, we cancel this. This is equivalent to 1. Okay, and then this would be cancelled. This would be 2. So, our roots again would be 1 plus 2i. And then, what? 1 minus 2i. So, we have already extracted the four roots. So, we are now ready to write the equation. So, the roots are, roots are, okay, this one. So, we have 3 plus 2i, 3 minus 2i. So, we have 3 plus 2i. Then we have, let me just uh, remove the parentheses. So, we have 3 plus 2i. Then 3 minus 2i. And then we have 1 plus 2i. Then we have 1 minus 2i. And then we have our equation for imaginary roots solution. So, we have c sub 1 cosine of bx plus c sub 2 sine of bx. So, as you can see here, we have different a's, values of a's. Okay, so we have 3 and the other 2 roots, we have 1. So, we will be writing that separately. So, first we write this one, 3 plus 2i, 3 minus 2i. So, that would be e raised to, value of a here is 3x. Then we have c sub 1 cosine of what? 2. Okay, so we have... 2x plus c sub 2 of sine. Here we have also the value of b. We have 2x excluding the sine. Okay? So we have that. So we have written the first uh, a part of our solution for the two roots. So since these two roots has different a, okay, value of a, we can separate it as plus. Then we have e raised to 1x. So still e raised to x, that is still the same. So we have, since we have c sub 1, c sub 2, this would be c sub 3, okay, plus uh, c sub 3 cosine of the same 2x, okay. So that would be c sub 3 cosine of 2x plus c sub 4 sine of 2x. So this is our answer for the solution of this higher order differential equations. Okay, e raised to 3x. Quantity c sub 1 cosine 2x plus c sub 2 sine 2x plus e raised to x c sub 2 uh, c sub 3 cosine 2x plus c sub 4 sine 2x. Okay? So, how about for problem number 2? Okay? So, for problem number 2, we can have solve, okay, the DE, we have D cubed plus 1. Let me just rewrite this. So, we have d cubed plus 1, y equals 0. So, first, the auxiliary equation would be 
m cube plus 1 of y equals 0. So, we will get the roots of m cube plus 1 equals 0. And we know that 1 root of 8 is negative 1 if we transpose this 1 on the other side. So, 1 roots. Here are the roots. So, we have already negative 1. So, and again, to find the other roots, we will be using synthetic division, okay, to reduce this uh, form when we divide it by negative 1. Okay, so we have negative 1 here. And we will be writing the coefficients of this. So we have what? 1 for the cube. And then there is no squared values here. So it's 0. The coefficient of squared value is 0. There is no uh, m here raised to 1. So the coefficient would be 0. Okay, so it's like m cube plus we have 0, m squared plus 0, m plus uh, 1 equals 0. So, this would be 0. So, I write 0 here. Okay? So, we have 1, 0, 0, and then again we have 1. So, it's divided by the negative 1, which is a root. Okay? We know that if we divide it, we would be having uh, no remainder and we would get an expression, okay, reduced to second power, okay, quadratic equation. So, how do we do again? The synthetic division. So, bring down first the 1 here. Then multiply it by this. So, it becomes negative 1. And then we add here. So, it's still negative 1 here. Okay? And multiply again negative 1 by negative 1. That becomes positive 1. And we add it here. And this becomes 1. And then we, ha we have 1 times negative 1 would be negative 1, which is equal to 0 if we add. Okay? So, this one is the coefficient of now m squared. And this would be the coefficient of m, okay? And this would be the constant value. And hence, we have now the reduced, okay, uh, uh, form of m cubed plus 1 when we divide it by its root negative 1. So from this, we can now get uh, the value of the other uh, uh, roots, okay? So because we have three roots, by quadratic formula again. So by quadratic formula... So, we have negative b. So, that is negative of negative 1. Okay? We have b here as the constant of negative 1. Plus or minus, we have b squared, which is negative 1 squared minus 4. 1 here and 1 for c. Okay? All over 2 times 1. And we know that if we simplify this, this would be 1 plus or minus square root of, we have 1 minus 4. We have negative 3 here, okay, all over 2. So, as you can see, okay, as you can see here, this would be what? We have 1 half plus, we have square root of 3, okay, all over 2i, okay? So, if we, if we uh, evaluate this, okay? So, and then, and then for this one, we have, 1 half minus, okay, we have square root of 3 all over 2i. So, again, our roots would be negative 1. And then we have 1 half plus square root of 3 all over 2i. And then we have 1 half minus square root of 3 all over 2i. So, as you can see here, we have a real combined with an imaginary, distinct imaginary. So, how do we write our answer now, of course, we will still be recalling our knowledge about writing with a distinct real root. So, since this is equal to negative 1, so this would be uh, y. This is, this is real. So, we have c sub 1 e raised to negative x. Okay? So, remember, okay, what we have studied. So, it should be written as that. And then we have, again, since this is imaginary and non-repeating imaginary, so we have plus, so we have e raised to a. The value of a is 1 half, so we have 1 half x here, okay? And then we have c sub 2 cosine of square root of 3 all over 2 x plus c sub 3. We have sine of square root of 3 all over 2 x. Okay? So, again, that would be our final 
answer. And that should be our final answer. So as you can see, the second problem is actually what? Uh, is actually paired with a distinct real root. It can happen, okay? So you must be able to write that also if there appears a certain root that that would be a real or imaginary. So combinations, okay? So it can be, it can happen to a certain differential equation. Okay, so this would be our final answer. I hope that is clear to you. So the basic knowledge is all about getting the roots. And of course, uh, we should be able to recall uh, the formulas okay, when we are trying to write the solution of a higher differential equation when it is real, okay, repeated or non-repeated. Then we have uh, distinct roots and imaginary distinct roots. Okay, So we must be able to know okay, on how we are going to write. So here is an example for you, a problem for you to work on. Okay, So it's up to you if you would answer. I will be commenting down below the answer. So you try d squared okay, plus 3d plus 5. Then we have d squared plus d plus 1 y equals 0. So solve for d. Uh, what do you call this? Solution of this differential equation. So again, thank you so much for listening. I hope you learned something from this video. So, in, if you are new to my video, please check out my channel. So, I have many videos in differential equations as well as different uh, engineering subjects. So, thank you so much for listening. Please don't forget to subscribe and comment down and give this video a thumbs up. I hope you are having a good day. Again, this is Engineer Abat. See you again on the next video.